Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be making a very healthy evening snack which is called millet and quinoa dumpling. If you wish to watch this recipe in Tamil, click the above link. To make the dumpling, first we have to make a upma with millet and quinoa. For that I'm adding 2 tablespoons of oil to my instant pot. You can either use a pressure cooker or instant pot. and i'm adding a teaspoon of mustard and teaspoon of cumin seeds and let it splutter once they splutter i'm going to add one large onion chopped finely along with this i'm going to add four to five green chilies chopped finely and saute this for a minute until the onions are slightly soft Next I'm going to be adding few crushed curry leaves. Along with this I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of asafoetida. This gives a nice flavor to the dumpling and add salt to taste and give it a nice mix. Once you find the onions are nice and soft, I'm going to add the half a cup of millet soaked and drained along with half a cup of quinoa. This is also soaked and drained. And give this a nice mix and fry this for at least couple of minutes. Next I'm going to be adding 3 cups of water for totally 1 cup of grains. Which is half a cup of millet and half a cup of quinoa. After adding the water, push down any grains that are stuck to the side. Make sure there is nothing stuck to the sides and then close the instant pot and we are going to cook this on a high pressure for about 10 minutes and let the pressure release naturally. After that, open the instant pot and give it a nice mix. The millets and the quinoa is completely cooked and they are nice and soft. You can eat this right now as a upma. but i'm going to make a dumpling out of it so i'm adding half a cup of scraped coconut to the mixture and i'm going to give it a nice mix and let this cool completely so that we are going to make dumplings out of this mixture once it is cool enough to handle take a small amount of the upma and make it into balls like this and make it into a oval shaped balls or if you wish you can make it into rounds too make the same with the rest of the mixture and we need to steam this so i'm going to use my idli plates to steam this and i'm going to use my instant pot as well but if you wish you can use your idli pot itself to steam it after arranging everything place it in a steamer pot and steam it for 10 minutes exactly once the steaming is done remove the plates and let it cool for a bit before removing it from the plate and that's it our healthy and tasty quinoa millet dumpling is ready to be served serve it hot with some spicy garlic chutney the link for the garlic chutney is given above and in the description enjoy If you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon if you wish to receive further notifications on my future videos